Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look here. This is, I'm calling this my minimal teacher's makeup. Obviously you can wear this makeup regardless of whether or not you're a teacher. It's just that I've been teaching in schools for the last month and most days I will do a look very similar to this. There is nothing groundbreaking about this video or this makeup look. It's very, very simple and it's using very basic products. You don't have to have the same products that I have. You can use whatever you want. I'm just showing you the absolute basics and what I do when I'm doing my makeup in the morning morning before going to work. So to be honest, most days I won't even do this much makeup. A normal makeup for me going to work is brows and lipstick. This is the look that I do if I really want to put in a bit more effort or if I have a bit more time for some reason in the morning. Over the last four weeks that I've been in schools, I think I've done this much makeup two or three times. Anyway, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every single week. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to begin with, we're gonna skip foundation completely. We're gonna go straight in with concealer. I just find that because my skin is not too problematic as it is, wearing a foundation just looks a little bit heavy and it's just unnecessary. So I just use a little bit of concealer under my eyes, basically just so I don't look so tired and it kind of evens out those bags under my eyes. I do apply a little bit more concealer than I normally would if I were using foundation um, because I kind of bring it a little bit further down my cheek than I normally would so it covers up a little bit of my redness as well. And to set that in place, I'm just taking a little bit of loose setting powder. This is my e.l.f. one, which you probably have heard me say a million times. I'm almost run out of this. This is just so that the concealer doesn't move through the day, so it doesn't crease or come off. Then I'm just going to prime my eyelids. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've been trying a couple of others recently. And I just don't like the others. I like that this one doesn't have shimmer to it. I don't understand why you would put shimmer in an eyeshadow primer. Like one of the Urban Decay ones that I'm trying at the moment has shimmer and it just kind of ruins the eyeshadow look. And then I have one from Wet n Wild that makes my eyeshadow look really washed out over the top of it. So not enjoying that one either. But this one I find is very good. Okay, and just while that's setting down, I will do my brows. So today I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. So I use the shade Espresso to do my brows. These eyeshadows are very pigmented, so just take a tiny bit at a time. And to set that in place, as always, I'm using my Maybelline Brow Drama. I'm actually not sure how long I can hold on to this because I tried to cut the end off and it would not come off. Like, I seriously couldn't cut it off at all. So I don't know how hygienic it is now because I literally took scissors to it. So I don't know how much bacteria got in. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to get rid of this quite soon, but I just need to find a replacement first. Alright, for my eyes, first I'm going to take the shade Cream and just use that to set down the eyeshadow base. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of taupe and just start blending that into the crease. Next I'm going to take Nude and just pack that all over the lid. And while I'm here I'm just going to use the same brush to pop that on the inner corner and on the brow bone. Back in with the blending brush very quickly. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. This is my favorite one to wear to work on like an everyday basis. It's just a little bit more natural than one like the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. But it still makes your lashes look really nice and it gives them a bit of a curl. And then to finish off with, I'm using MAC Velvet Teddy. You can probably see how much I've been using this. I wore it pretty much every day in March. It's just such an easy neutral color to check on for work. Mm -hmm. 
And there we have it. This is the extent of the makeup that I will wear to work as a teacher. Definitely nothing groundbreaking, but if you were looking for a really super simple tutorial, I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time. Bye.